we are honored to present to you our 2021 Distinguished Alumni Speaker, Mr. Keith Groller. This is not on the script that is prepared here. Uh, I was fortunate enough in the late 1970s to be a dear of student. And my principal was a man by the name of Mike Meilinger. And I believe the new wing at Dare, if it's not new anymore, but the one part of the building is named after Mike Meilinger. And it occurred to me as I'm sitting, as I'm sitting here and listening to Mike McCool, we have another Mike Meilinger in charge of this school. They happen to have the same initials. They happen to have the same passion. They happen to have the same care and love of their students. So before I get into my prepared marks, how about a round of applause for your excellent principal, Mr. Mike McCool. Karen Coleman's back there. She was one of my teachers, and trust me, before she had, had me as a student, her hair wasn't gray. I, I think I started that color change for you, Karen. But listen, graduated from Deerup High School in 1979. I began working at the Morning Call, one of the biggest papers in the state of Pennsylvania, three months later. And I have had tremendous thrills. I've covered Super Bowls, World Series, NBA playoffs, college football games in North Dakota, Iowa, all over this country. I have seen the Phillies and Eagles become world champions. I have seen the Yankees in person become a world champion. I was in Canton, Ohio in 2014 on the night when Deer High School graduate Andre Reed was inducted in the Pro, the Pro Football Hall of Fame, the highest honor a football player could ever receive. And I'll tell you, I got goosebumps that night, and I have goosebumps again tonight. Because nothing, nothing I've ever done, absolutely nothing, is a bigger honor or a thrill than to speak to you, the wonderful students, the class of 2021. It is a beautiful sight to see you all together in this great stadium. Give yourself a round of applause. Class of 2021, you did it. Against the odds, through one of the craziest times any of us have ever experienced. Through the darkness, through the strife, through all of that COVID uncertainty, through the doubt, through it all, you did it. Many didn't think you could do it. I heard people say things like, how are, how are those dear of kids going to learn online? How are they going to stay connected? How are they going to stay focused? They can't do that. Well, you proved them wrong, and you proved them wrong in a big way because you're here tonight, and you're getting your diploma. You are about to become dear of high school graduates, and it's 42 years, I believe. I'm not good at math. I'm a writer since I got my diploma, and I still, still treasure that diploma, and you will too. This school, as I said, it's been around a long time, 62 years. Thousands of people have spent time in that building on Irving Street. Hundreds of them have gone on to do great, great things. And over the years, all the people who've been through that building have been bonded with what we call Husky Pride. But believe me, when I tell you that no previous class of Lewis E. Deerup High School graduates has ever shown that Husky pride and what it means better than the class of 2021. Not, my, not the first class of 1960, not my own class of 79, not the great, great, great class led by my friend Herbie Hemmerly, the class of 1971, not all the classes that feature championship sports teams that I've covered. This class has done more than just about any other class because you've proven people wrong. You proved you could get it done against those odds. 
What does Husky pride mean? Well, it means different things to different people. To me, at its core, at its essence, Husky pride means to never give up. It means that when times are tough, we pull together and we thrive. It means that when life knocks us down on our butts, we get back up and we move forward. And we say, bring it on because we're united and we're ready for whatever you throw at us. It means we believe in ourselves. We believe in each other. And the great diversity that we have comes together under that banner of Husky Pride. We believe that if we work hard, there isn't a darn thing we can't do or we can't accomplish. The people on this great football field that has been here since the 1940s, the people seated on this great football field definitely have what it takes to say, we got Husky pride, baby. We got Husky pride. The model of Deer of High School is to lead and to serve with Husky pride. And that means that while this is a special, special night for you and your family and everybody that you've ever known, it's not the end, it's only the beginning. After you take all the pictures and hug your family and your friends, and after your graduation party's over and you do all the things that you should do to celebrate this great accomplishment of being a Deer of High School graduate, it's then go time. Since we're in this football stadium with a track, multi-lane track all around us, I'm gonna use a couple of sports analogies. When this is over tonight, you are just in the starting blocks of life. The race is just beginning. It's the opening whistle. It's the opening kickoff of your adult life. And it's go time. You have to be ready for it and all it has to offer. I wish I could say that life is a walk in the park, smooth sailing, easy going, no problems at all. But as a 60-year-old man, I could tell you it's not. To talk, as I often do in football terms, you're going to fumble at times. You're going to throw an interception now and then. Sometimes you're going to get tackled by life. You're going to get blindsided and take a hit you didn't see coming. Or you're going to get flagged for making a mistake. It's going to happen. Even the greatest, greatest athletes in the world, football star Tom Brady, basketball star LeBron James, tennis great Serena Williams, they all lose sometimes. They're great champions, but they're not perfect. No one is perfect. But understand this, you have Husky pride. And that means when life gets tough, you show your toughness. You've already shown us your resiliency, your commitment, your dedication through what many people think was the worst year for schools in our lifetime. You did it. You're here tonight. You're champions. And now the world awaits you. And trust me, the world needs you. They need you. They need that passion. There are a lot of problems to be fixed, a lot of issues out there to be addressed. And there are a lot of people who believe our world is headed in a wrong direction. But I say, I say our young people are the ones who can get us back on track because they see that through unity, through working together, we're striving, by striving for a goal, staying with it, we can make this world a much, much better place. One final thought for me is that whether you're headed to college, whether you're headed to the military, whether you're headed to the workforce immediately, it doesn't matter. Find your passion. Find the thing that makes you want to get out of bed in the morning and let that drive you. One thing I've learned over the years is that you don't have to be great at everything. It would all be great if we were rocket scientists. I wish I had half of the grade point averages that are on this stage. But it doesn't work that way. I, I, you know, I, was, I never liked math. I never liked science. I, know, I don't even know a darn thing about how a car works, except I, have, I know how to put gas in the tank. That's it. But I love sports. I love to write. So my passion became a reality. And I've been a sports writer now for more than 40 years. So the key to me is if you could find that one thing, that one very special thing you love, that one thing you want to do 
more than anything else in life. And that's the thing that's, that's going to make a difference for you. And once you discover it, give it your all. Do not be stopped. And if you keep that Husky pride, you drive forward. You don't let anybody tell you no. You keep pushing. You're going to find your way to a very successful life. Class of 2021, in this very stadium where Deeruff defeated Allen 25-12 last October 30th for a great football victory, let me congratulate each and every one of you because Deeruff and its students are winners again. Keep that Husky pride. Keep that grit. Keep that determination. Keep that focus going forward, and you are going to be winners in a much more important game, the game of life. Class of 2021, and let me just say to the staff, the teachers, it's been brutal. It's been tough. It's been unlike anything we've ever seen. But you all, all work together, students, administration, faculty, staff, everybody pulling together. Thank you. Thank you as a lifelong Lehigh Valley resident, as a proud Deerf grad, as someone who cares deeply about Deerf High School and this city of Allentown. Thank you for all you've done. We love you, and I thank you for letting me share part of your evening with, with uh, letting me be a part of your evening tonight. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Groller. Will you please come back to the podium? As a token of our appreciation, we would like to uh, recognize you and, and provide you with this plaque. Hold that. You got it? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. Here, put it back in there. Thanks. <laughs>